She stars in the new Hallmark Channel rodeo drama Ride. Sarah Garcia is saddling up as the strong and bold character Valeria, and she's giving us a peek at what we can expect from the Yellowstone-like series. This is Advocate Now. Sarah, congrats on your new Hallmark series ride. Tell me about the show and what drew you to the project. I, it's kind of funny. I auditioned for the show, I think in April. And when I first got the script, I remember it was just the sides. It was the audition sides, um, which is just the, the scene of the script to audition with. And I remember thinking the writing was really fun and energetic, um, genuine. And I just remember having a lot of fun in the audition. And then I didn't hear anything for like months and uh, finally got a, a director Zoom audition call back. And that's when I got the pilot and I really got to sink into what this story was about and who this character was. And what really struck me was this story of these three independent women who are not bonded by blood, but are chosen family. And they choose to stay together uh, in amongst hardship and, and tragedy uh, to save their, their home. And they're supported by these wonderful, loving men in their lives. And uh, I just thought that that was a really beautiful story. And then Valeria, the character that I play on Ride um, was just shrouded in mystery and lots of uh, there was lots of room for me to pour myself in and get creative in, in how to develop her as a character. And that for, for an actor is always just really juicy. I may have given birth to three sons, but I feel blessed to have had two wonderful daughters walk into my life. So let's do this. It's family. And you know, country Western shows have been really popular lately. Take Yellowstone, for example. It has this massive cult following. Did that add to your excitement when you were joining the series? Yeah, I think Westerns are in the zeitgeist. They're they're kind of every everywhere right now. And and I I personally am, am a fan of the genre. So I think the prospect of of getting to work outside and potentially learning how to ride a horse all played into the excitement of me wanting to to take on this project. And you mentioned your character, Valeria. She is this strong, bold, independent woman. She's navigating this male-dominated industry. Did you personally connect with that at all? And did that affect the way that you portrayed her on screen? I've been very lucky in my career. Um, I've been mentored by a lot of really wonderful women. In fact, my the reason why I even started acting was because of a, an amazing uh, um, person who who was running this theater company and she she sort of stopped <laughs> hiring me in the theater company and um, and, and told me to pursue this uh, in film and television for real and I was living in Shanghai at the time so that required me moving back to to Canada and and if it wasn't for these really strong resilient female mentors in my life, I, I don't know if I would have stuck it out for as long as I have, but I'm very grateful to them. And, um, and here I am now, and I'm hoping that I can pass that on to other young women who are trying to be actors as well. And this project is led by women. You know, that's not always the case in Hollywood, but having these complex female actresses and, and characters at the core of the show, but did that bring a different type of energy to the set? Hmm. I think the energy on set was overall very collaborative. Um, we had a family dynamic right from the get go. Uh, Tierra and Nancy and I collectively decided to meet up early before we started the show, knowing that it was really going to be uh, crucial that our bond translated from TV and outwards. Uh, so we, we we got together and we went for a hike in the woods in um, in Calgary and and it was just incredible seeing the two of them as these just resilient people. Um, we hiked through streams and kicked off our boots and got to this beautiful blue lake and just kind of 
marveled in the the wonder that was the nature around us and and really bonded as friends and i think that translates in our show you think you really see that um that strong female connection and your co-star jake foy plays a queer character on the series as an out and proud queer actress was that meaningful to you to have that kind of representation on ride absolutely i think it was meaningful for all of us you know jake and collectively, the cast, we all wanted to help Jake portray Tuff as the beautifully well-rounded character that he is. He's talented and um, and elegant, and and he is a hardworking, loyal brother and son. He works day and night on this ranch to to help it survive. And he just so happens to be gay. And the world that we all created together collectively was that him being queer was just part of it. And we were all just so accepting of it. And me being a queer woman, that is, those are the types of stories that I want to be a part of. Those are the stories that I want to tell. Um, and I feel lucky that that we have Jake being such a wonderful role model. Well, I know it might be a bit early, but any talk about a second season at this point? We don't know. Our fingers are crossed. Um, our toes are crossed. We're we're hoping that uh, we all hear soon, but we're all very hopeful in our group chat and, and continually uh, <laughs> talking about manifesting it. We're putting it out into the universe for sure. Well, you have had a really interesting career path. I mean, you began theater acting at just seven years old. You also studied theater at university, but I found it really interesting that before you dove into acting as a full-time career, you taught children English in China for a few years. Was there any insight that you gained from that when that you were able to channel into your acting once you returned? Yeah, patience. <laughs> patience uh, is key. And not only on set, but also when, you know, the, the job entails a lot of no's, a lot of rejection, a lot of um, having to pick yourself up and keep going, keep knocking on those doors and, and never really giving up. And, and um, to have patience all the way through that uh, has been invaluable to me. And then teamwork, um, you know, being on set is, 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 you can't do it alone. It's, it very much is dependent on the team of the crew, um, the cast, the writers, uh, everyone from the, from the ground up is, 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 has a, has a major role in, in creating something like a television show. And on ride, we just got so lucky with our incredible knowledgeable crew who all have some way, shape or form, a, a piece of themselves in in Western and ranching life. So it's very authentic. Some of the ranch hands that you even see on the show are actual ranch hands in real life because we work on this working ranch. And so they're just doing their, they're just doing their job. <laughs> well, being that your background is in theater, could we see you make your return to the stage, maybe on Broadway? I would love that. I would love that. Um, it is scary to think about, but because I haven't done it in a while, but I think it would be a good challenge at some point. I just saw Hamilton and the energy of the crowd and the and and seeing people on the stage again after three years of being locked away and not being able to to participate in theater like that was electric. And I, yeah, I, I would love to do it someday. Is there a dream Broadway role that that you would love to be a part of? Oh, uh, I don't know, but I think I have, um, I'm, I'm part of a, a, an animated series coming out on Netflix called Unicorn Academy, and we do have singing in it. And so I sort of get to live out my sort of Pixar-esque singing dreams in this animated series coming out in the fall. So maybe Unicorn Academy on stage. I don't know. <laughs> I like the sound of that. In the meantime, we'll have to look out for Unicorn Academy. Thank you so much for joining us, Sarah. Everybody make sure to check out Sarah's new show, Ride Sundays on the Hallmark Channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I'm Sonia Baghdadi. Thanks for watching and advocating. For more stories and content like this, visit advocate.com and advocatechannel.com. Oh.